Wrestling fans around the corner, around the world, I'm Dan Marotti. And I'm John Cena Sr. Johnny, the fans just haven't asked for it, they have demanded it. This August, we're headed back to Tampa for Russell House 2. WrestleMania weekend, we brought you Sinister Minister James Mitchell, TJP, Demolition Smash, Al Snow, Dutch Mantel Zeb Coulter, JTG of Crime Time, and WWE Hall of Famer Gerald Briscoe for in-depth interviews and live interactive cyber autograph signings. And if you want our Wednesday Night Wrestling Insider Special edition episodes to continue, we need your help to bring these superstars careers and lives to life. Bringing you free content seven days each week is an expensive proposition between appearance fees, air travel, renting the house, the equipment and everything that goes in to a week of shooting. We can't do it without you. As we prepare to return to producing live and ring events, help us bring you the superstars and legends of yesterday and tomorrow by visiting Indiegogo now and check out some of the great rewards. Wrestling fans, it's going to be a wild week in Tampa the first week in August. Get ready for Wrestle House 2. And, and possibly digging into for grip, you know, to balance. Because, I mean, just when I'm walking over here on this uh, bone, you know, leg bone, it's, it's like walking on a, a, a pogo stick. I mean, you, you ain't got no balance. You, you, and, and this one's just bone on bone so bad. But... Um, Anyway, that was that was the whole purpose of the, you know, the the, the lawsuit was was look, man, take some of that money y'all just made last quarter off of me. You know, it ain't like it, you know, it's costing you anything. You you're making money on me still, but um, there's they, a lot of individuals. But come just tomorrow, little... I think before is the, the what, what happened to the record? But he had something bad with him before they got cut off. He had diabetes yeah, for a long it. time, and he didn't get dialysis for it so it just worsened and worsened and worsened and but I'll say I'm gonna, uh, this is a two-parter right now a lot can be said about your situation the pain you're in imagine if it, your physical problem could be rectified there may never be an alcohol or a drug problem right and that was the thing that my brother my brother pointed that out to him he says go to he goes I'm getting worried about you You're taking 10 and 15 Percocet strong ones like the tens uh, a, a day which I was probably taking a little more than that. That's all he knew. that's all he would see me take, and he was he was getting concerned about it, you know. And and he, uh, you know, he pointed it out to me. I don't want to get that phone call, yeah. you know. And uh, he said, you know, see, I, and I told him I already called him. That they just, I got to be quiet. I can't get into it too much. Right. Not supposed to be getting into it at all. Man, I can't do anything right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think you do a ain't lot right. Ain't supposed to talk about this, so I talk about it. Ain't supposed to talk about that, so I talk about it. Um, but he, uh, he he told me to get a, do the rehab, go through the rehab. I said, that's not going to do me any good. He, he, you know, the, it's this. It ain't the, the drinking is to kill the pain. The pain pills, the, you know, I hate to say it, but after all the celebrities uh, who I like, all of them, Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, Prince, but after they all started OD and, and dying off, it, it became impossible to get pain medicine. Right, um, and you know what? And I've told you about, I developed the CRPS condition, which is just ungodly pain from that accident I was in with the Sheik, and you're exactly right. People that have legitimate physical needs now are being turned away by the doctors because they don't want to be put on the spot of someone potentially overdosing on it. And what do the people that actually need it do? It, it, they put it in a really tough spot, and someone like you whose body has been just physically abused and tortured for almost 40 years. What do you do to get relief? And what do you do to get help? There's a, there's a liquor store on every corner. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know? And, 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 and that's sometimes the way I look at it. Like when I'm training good and dieting good, uh, liquor's the worst thing in the world because it slows your metabolism down. Right. Let alone makes you slur and, and make stupid phone calls to girls that you wouldn't usually have phone sex with. But, <laughs> well. <laughs> but <laughs> uh oh. Shouldn't have said that either. Now, nah, the phone should start ringing. I get, let me see if I got it off. Yeah, I got it off. <laughs> um, but what, what was I saying? Oh, oh, about the liquor store. Liquor store, Well, yeah. so we went back to my brother said, that, uh, he goes, go in there because they're going to analyze, psychoanalyze you or whatever it's called. The doctor will come in and, and ask you questions. And then they're going to see what the problem is. You know that uh, you're doing to self-medicate, and he goes, "It'll be written in a report." 
And that way you, you have that. Um, again, now I'm dipping into that lawsuit thing. But it's exactly what happened. I went to a rehab in um, Lafayette, uh, Louisiana, when was back when I was living in New Orleans with, with Pat Tanaka and his... Uh, oh, those must have been <laughs> some interesting times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> those must have been some interesting times. Yeah. Especially the, down in NOLA. Oh, yeah, man, where you can walk down the street with a bottle, just don't get out yeah. on the road. Yeah. I mean, you can drink, walk, and you can buy it at 7-Eleven. Yeah. I look at some of these situations, though, where, Marty, uh, how much would it cost to, in your instance, fix an ankle compared to, and I'm going to give WWE credit for this, when they send someone to rehab, they send them to the fine first-class institutions, yeah, they, they, some they, of which are almost six figures for the rehab. Yeah. If they spent less on some of the physical, I don't think it would cost a hundred grand to fix your ankle. No, in fact, they, you know they, what I mean? they, they would uh, catch a break, you know, I told yeah, them that. It, it, because, financially, it would be cheaper for them. Well, and also a good friend of mine, Dr. McCluskey, Lee McCluskey, we played football together in junior high and high school and, and college. Well, that was me and Watford in college. Uh, but anyway, um, he's, he studied under Dr. Andrews, one of the best doctors in the mm. world. And, um, and he's now one of the best ankle uh, specialists in the world himself. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, well, I went in to see him. And, and first thing he said when I walked in, he goes, my God, he goes, I already know what's wrong with that one <laughs> without x-raying. Uh, I think he called it a collapse, something other, something other. Uh, but he took the x-rays anyway, and then he came back out and he goes, you know, I do this for a living. He goes, you got the worst ankles I've ever seen. He goes, I don't know how you walked in here. And, um, but he said, he, he goes, um, I told him, I said, I don't have health insurance right now. What kind of break can I get? And he said, you ain't got to pay me at all. He goes, but you, the hospital is a different charge. It's separate. Uh, he goes, and it would be St. Francis there in Columbus, That's a Georgia. Friend. Was that? That's a friend. Yeah. Yeah. A good and, man. And, you know, he said, you know, I'll, I'll get you, I'll get it for you. Don't worry about that. So now I'm thinking, okay, that's probably about, and I got to get them both done. He wanted uh, to stagger. He didn't want to do them both at the same time. You'd be out of commission yeah. if they did both at the same time. Yeah, yeah. It, well, and the way he's going to do it uh, is one. We're going to get this done here fairly soon. We're just waiting on, on an open spot because of COVID. Surgery yeah, is so backed, backed up. up. Everything. Yeah. And uh, but so we'll get fixed. But anyway, that was a break that WWE wouldn't have had to pay for. You know, they they um, the, the doctors gonna do it for free. The the hospital itself, that won't be that much. Maybe twenty grand, I guess. I don't know. You would just, have had. I'm just guessing on that. But hell, he made more than twenty grand only last quarter. You would have <laughs> had a, a resolution to a life problem as opposed to like you mentioned, some of the individuals that WWE has sent to rehab, near six figure rehabs. They've had to do it multiple, multiple times. Yeah. So, uh, I, well, you know, they I, are. They like you said earlier. They send you to the best. Um, they that, do. That, that one in Lafayette. That's why I had to go. It's probably an hour, fifteen minutes north of New Orleans. Um, but this one, it was the best in the area. So you know, I think it was like thirty thousand for a month. So I didn't make the full month, but uh, I had a problem with a couple of the instructors. <laughs> I said, no, nah, I'm, I'm done here. Yeah, but I got what my brother said, exactly uh, that happened. The doctor, and he wrote it down. I have it on a piece of paper. Was, I, I believe his uh, drinking problem comes from self-medicating for a pain, uh, uh, obvious pain in yeah. the, his ankle. Uh, that, that would solve his issue. Um, that's what we needed on paper from a doctor. That's exactly Good. what my brother said Good. would happen. Good job, Gino. He's a smart guy. Gino Gennetti, baby. Good man. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, yeah, it, it, it um, all in all, man, I'll be back to, to, to. The World Wrestling Federation was live at the Los Angeles Sports Arena in Los Angeles, California, Thursday, July the 4th, 1985. In the opening contest, Davy Boy Smith beat Rene Goulet. Rick McGraw with the win over Steve Lombardi. Polish power Ivan Putski, replacing Superfly Jimmy Snuka, defeated Cowboy Bob Orton via disqualification. Adrian Adonis victorious over Jack Armstrong. Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff battled Rowdy Roddy Piper to a draw. Les Thornton beat Gama Singh. WWF Intercontinental Champion Greg the Hammer Valentine and Jesse the Body Ventura with the win over the Junkyard Dog and George Wells. 
the Dynamite Kid defeated Alexa Smirnoff via countout. And in the main event, the World Wrestling Federation heavyweight champion Hulk Hogan retained the title over Brutus Beefcake. If you were in Los Angeles live, share your memories in the comment section below. Use the links in the description box to keep wrestling legends working in our eBay store and on our world-renowned Patreon streaming service so we can bring you more interactive superstar shoot interviews to relive the good old days of professional wrestling. Check it out. Boston Wrestling Sports in the MWF explodes into a new year with professional wrestling content galore and need you to join our family. Every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. after our Monday Night Raw review, it's Wrestling Insiders at your house with WWE Hall of Famer Mr. USA Tony Atlas. Wednesday nights at 10 p.m. after NXT and AEW, join rotating legends on Wrestling Insiders Special Edition. Every Thursday night at 10 p.m. after our NXT and Dynamite review, it's Marty Jannetty's No Holds Barred Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll Journey on Wrestling Insiders Party with Marty. Friday night after SmackDown, don't miss John Cena Sr.'s Wrestling Insiders Fabulous Fridays. Plus, look for classic clips, history videos, bonus live episodes, pay per view, watch alongs, and more. For less than a cup of coffee at Starbucks, get early ad free access to our Wrestling Insider talk shows, our acclaimed studio shoot interview DVD library, and help keep wrestling legends working during the worst of times 